What if I was to tell you that this is a 100 watt solar panel? Would you believe me? What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. We've done reviews in the past on All Powers, on one of their power stations, and I was quite impressed with the interface that it had and some of the ingenuity that was behind it. Well, now they've got a solar panel that has that same ingenuity built into it. This thing, it's only about four pounds, so definitely portable, more portable than any other 100 watt solar panel I've ever come across. And yet uh, it's providing the kind of power that you need to charge stuff on the go. I would have to think that this is probably geared the most for e-bikes than I've seen on anything else or people that are camping or hiking. You know, a lot of times these panels that we've done reviews on, they say they're portable and they are. You know, we could throw them in our RV or we could throw them in the back of our vehicle and carry them just fine. They're set up to uh, be just that portable. But as far as small and easily carried. So you see what comes with it. It's actually a, a plug-in where you can charge your 12 volt battery direct. Now I'll have to say there is no battery management system on this. So if you hook this up to let's say my truck, you know, you could overcharge the truck if you have solid sunshine all day long. Um, so be aware of that. Um, you also have the connector that is uh, an interface between, let's say, the solar panel and a power station. And then you have uh, a simple USB to uh, the old USB type. Uh, I guess they would call that the micro, not the mini, but the micro. And then you have all these connectors to help you with interface on whatever power station you may have. Uh, but the nice thing is, is as long as you have a USB cable, a, a standard USB cable, you can plug in any device you want. So you see all these straps here. It's so you can hang this, you can hang this off of like the side of your vehicle. So when the sun is out, um, it's all stretched out. Yeah, you could do a, an overland situation with this, hook this up to your vehicle and have at least some wattage there replenishing what is best to be set up with uh, like a power pack. Um, you know, power packs are the way to go, and I'm talking about a power station, a rechargeable generator, however you want to call it. Uh, the thing is, is the solar, again, getting back into it, is really the only way to keep that sustainable for you to stay off grid. One of the nice things is you get a couple of these and you can hook them together. You can, you can run them both. So you'd have 200 watts and you'd essentially basically have, uh, I don't know what you would call these, two purses? That's really all this is. It's like a little satchel. So uh, if you just have two of these, um, again, they are four pounds. There is some weight to it because there is some substantial solar going on in there. Um, yeah, you could actually uh, have 200 watts worth of rechargeability. So when you first open it up, the, the very first layer that you have, you're going to see this is the interface here. And again, I, there's a USB-C. There's a port for the uh, cable they provide. Uh, there's another place right here, another port for that same cable. Again, you could do uh, a couple different interfaces uh, using both of those. Then you have your traditional USBs. And in here, I'll give you a little pouch. There's your carabiners. And then they give you a little manual to cover some of this information also. So I, I kind of like that. I, it's all built in. Again, they're trying to make it portable. So here it is laid out on the back of my truck. Now my truck has an eight foot bed and it is a full size truck. So you can see it doesn't take up very much, even though we're hanging over the edge a little bit, you can get the idea of how much room it takes up. But each one of these is kind of a matte finish uh, solar panel. And even though we're not at the correct angle, I mean, you really, to get the full effect of any solar, you need to position this to where it's facing the sun. Again, I've done a review on this in the past. This is their portable power station, the S200. Very nice device. All right, let's see what we can do here. I have, uh, from a previous review, I have a little uh, battery that needs to be charged. It's a simple charger. So we'll go ahead and plug this in to the all powers s200 first to get an idea of what we're going to get as far as a draw 
Well, let's go ahead and turn the AC on. See here, it's kind of figuring it out at this point. If I'm not mistaken, I have to push the side here to get the AC output going. Yeah, and right now it says that there's uh, 5 watts going out. we got 12 hours of life left on the, the supply. And uh, you can see here the battery is charging. So that's nice that that's working okay. So basically what we want to focus on here is hopefully the, the gauge uh, in real time will give us a, a different look here uh, whenever I plug it in to the solar panel. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. So right now I've got, oh man, that's awesome, 67.55 watts. So I was up to, there are like 55, 56, the sun's coming out, 60, 61, 62. Again, we've got the sun going in and out. So this thing is putting out 60% of its capability, almost 70% at this point. And um, the solar panel's not even tilted in the correct manner. So very nice so rest assured all powers this is the uh this is the second time i've dealt with them the first one was the battery bank and i was highly impressed and i'll have to say that the solar panel is doing the same thing for me it's it's an impressive piece considering how small it is and how portable it is uh, for it to be able to do what it's doing so again links are down below as always guys we hope to see you out there bye